The Maryland Public Service Commission approved a rate increase for Pepco effective July 29th. That extra, <coughs> excuse me, that extra money will mean an average increase of about a dollar a month for residential customers, and that'll raise about seven million dollars for Pepco. So at some point down the line, I'll be looking for a hike in my Pepco bill, won't I? Well, I think you're also looking for an improvement in reliability and improvement in the quality of service that we provide. Uh, the electric utility industry is very capital intensive, and it requires a lot of investment, a lot of the money that we receive. We have to reinvest right back into our system. So whatever we receive and those dollars that go back into the system, uh, our customers will benefit from that. Can I ask about alternative energy? People sure. hear about wind power, so And I have power. a question from a listener well, on that, but you well, start well, first. Well, uh, shall we shall we yield to the listener? Okay, then. Uh, I just want to know what the what's going on in these areas. A lot of people think it's got great promise, but that would be Antonio in Montgomery County, Maryland. Antonio, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. Um, hello, Kojo. I just had um, a quick question. If if has Pepco hired um, any actual technicians to improve service and secondly is there any are they doing anything to incentivize homeowners to invest in solar panels maybe buy back some of the energy that's not in use or just lower their bill and I'll take my answer off the air thank you Antonio solar panels uh, certainly there's some uh, there's some federal dollars out there uh, net metering is also available for those customers who are moving towards towards solar so that is uh, something that we're working with our customers on. Uh, big picture, uh, Maryland is, has their Empower Maryland programs, their Empower Maryland goals, 15% reduction uh, by 2015. Uh, we're working very closely with the state of Maryland to make sure that's achieved. Uh, something else that Maryland has a great interest in uh, are renewables uh, offshore. So there have been a number of proposals out there, and that's why the transmission the, the bulk transmission project that I talked, the bulk line that I spoke about earlier, uh, is so critical because that line, ha that offshore wind has to connect to something. Right. And, you know, to be honest, where we are right now, we're probably looking at over the next 10 years about a 20% increase in electricity. So at 2015, that line has to be in place. And if these renewables are going to come offshore and at the point it's been identified where they do come uh, onshore. Uh, that line has to be in place. But we we are really at a critical period of needing to go, needing to have this line approved, getting all the title, all the permits that we need to move forward. Uh, if if you think that um, this last summer was bad on a distribution reliability issue, uh, a transmission reliability issue uh, is times 1,000. So new technology is not a threat to your business model. But I, I was intrigued the other day. I saw a power, a solar-powered parking meter. Did you use it? No, I put my hand over it to see if I could break it. <laughs> but. According to reports, um, utilities filed with the Maryland Public Service Commission, Thomas Graham, compared sure. to customers of neighboring Baltimore Gas and Electric Company, Pepco customers lost power 61% more often in 2009 when there were no major storm outages. What accounts for that? We're working on that. that that's why we have a reliability enhancement plan uh, in place. Uh, we are totally committed to improving the responsive, or repro improving the reliability of service to our customers. That's why we've made the additional $100 million, $190 million investment. Uh, the caller earlier talked about, do we have additional technicians? We have every tree trimming crew that's available. We have every line technician contractor that's available right now uh, working on improving service reliability for our customers.